Uh, congrats, Taylor Morgan and Ava Marino. Happy to see you two could work it out. Yeah. Nice briefcase, Taylor and Ava. Enjoy it while you can. Anytime, any place, we're ready. Whether you let us know in advance or not. On the next Ruthless Digressions, we'll have a full analysis of the first ever Money in the Bank Tag Team match. Tune in. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a Tag Team Championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, Politely tap them on the shoulders and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine. But I'm not cashing in this contract with a partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later. What? That just doesn't. Fine, we'll do it. If it isn't. Fine. But only because I want to get this cash in on the road, not because I need to prove myself to you. You know, the SmackDown Hotel right now is on Twitter like, Oh, we're finding all these uh, things that can probably prove these people are in the game. T-shirts and blah, blah, blah. Well, is CM Punk in the game? This is a fucking universe cutscene. It's official. Shotgun uh. scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced. Yeah, I took out Lacey Evans so she can spend time with her kid. Apparently, one half of the briefcase be, be a mother and be home. After that thrilling tag team money in the well, bank. Where's the dad at? Why can't he do it? I think she told me why. I just didn't pay attention. Come on, Shotzi. Oh, impressive counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Oh, Mountie and Nell just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead, striking. Yeah. Will. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds. She wants to finish this. Done. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. Roundhouse kick. Uh oh. This is just a fucking mauling at this point. She's gotten like no offense. Wow! My god, what a striking display. What impact! Like, fight back! Tried so hard. Ooh! Escapes in a nick of time. Quick return to the ring. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Uh oh. We're gonna see it. Power. Her energy is fading rapidly now. We're about to see how tough she really is. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. 
The springboard attack That's lame. To land. <laughs> Shots he able to avert that. Defenses are That'd be a lot closer for that one. Oh, Shots he manages to counter. Ah, you butchered it. All right, Shotzi, so now you got something going on. Good for you, good for you. It won't matter, don't do that. I said don't do that. Stupid! Stupid! Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Oh, colliding with a barricade. And up and down! There we go. Good. Bam! Run out of ringside and back to the mat. It's back. She hit the corner hard. Ah, oh, Shotzi. Ah! Oh. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Shotzi, be very careful. I said be careful. Strikes. and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Taking hold of Shotzi. Can Shotzi come back from that? No, she cannot. That's it. Too easy. Too easy! Sorry. Here is your winner, Peter Morgan! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. Burn it down! What was that? Taylor Morgan? Honestly, nothing personal. I was just trying to prove a point about being unexpected. Sorry you're at the other end of it. Who's the money in the bank winner? Me. Having a lot of fun carting this briefcase all over my epic victory tour. Don't you mean us? You think I should have a turn with the briefcase? We won. Sure. Whatever. But I've already got a dinner reservation for two later because the briefcase has its own chair. So it makes sense for me to hold on to it for the time being. Fucking weirdo. Whatever. Happy now? See? I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash-in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order, and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> hey. All right, Shotzi. Let's do it. <clears throat> ah! Shotzi, you should have you should just accepted my apology. I can be a heel. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. Heel Morgan would be a lot more dangerous than uh, what we got right now. I'm just saying. My heel turn will be legendary. Is this it?
This is gonna hurt onto the concrete. Oh, that's a. Oh. And ah! oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry, Shotzi. I can't let you uh Think that you're better. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> and oh! <laughs> ah! What is this? What sorcery is this? Not sorcery! Skill! Uh oh. I didn't even get to do my finisher. Go on, 2K. Let me bend it a little more. A little more. A little more fine polishing on the, the shots you face. Like a ripcord knee. Oops, meant to respond to your earlier message, but was too busy planning my own unexpected revenge. When you attack someone for absolutely no reason, better believe it's personal. What did you think would happen? Whose side are you on, Ava? Why don't we sell this in the ring, Taylor? No surprises and no DQ. You want to play that way? You know I'm game. I have to make sure Taylor understands the premise of a no DQ match. Does she know that you can use weapons or is she too much of a good girl? I know, Ava! And Shotzi, you're on. Don't worry, I won't play nice. Ava, didn't I beat the ever-living shit out of you with a chair? Last time we had a match. Didn't I? I did, right? Okay. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. You leave your piece in on that the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Taylor Morgan. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. ready to make a statement. We get to watch the tank entrance again. Indies, did Shotzi have the tank? Or did the WWE be like, what do you want? She goes, a tank. <laughs> Just picture a tank. <laughs>
So the shots see healer fades because I'm hearing booze. Where did that howl come from? Is she a rooster? The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up. <laughs> no! Oh, I got objectives. Slug Shotzi with a baseball bat outside of the ring. Alright. Irish whip Shotzi into the stairs. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tensions really running high now. Oh! Carefully measured knee drop. Able to parry that one. And bam! Oh! So what cutscene? Usually when there's a cutscene like this, I'm gonna lose. Irish whip shot C into the stairs. Alright. Or, I'll, I'll try. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone Come on! To clear out, including us. Turning the tables. Talk Shit! The ring. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> you weren't expecting that one. Why are you shot see? Alright, straight down. Come on. Barricade. Throws her back in from ringside. All right. yeah, bam! Yeah, bam! Shotzi, no, I'm sorry, but I gotta Irish whip you to some stairs. Get back out there. She'll get sent out the hard way. Come on! This is just vicious, nasty Come on! One step ahead of Shotzi there. I'm always one step ahead of Shotzi. Like these stairs! Boom. Motherfucker! Okay. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Into the barricade. Counter! And now there's an Like these stairs! There we go! Fucking finally! Stop Shotzi in her tracks outside the ring with a stop sign. And Shotzi reverses it. Uh oh. High angle belly and back suplex. Whoever wrote that thought they were so funny. Stop her with a stop sign! Shut up, dude. And Shotzi didn't see that coming. Oh! And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? She's calling for it. Weapon in hand, just toying with her now. Boom! And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Yeah. Oh, she's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Attacker with a kendo stick while in the ring. And now thrown back into the ring. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Oh! Shotzi able to avoid impact. Oh! Bam! <laughs> Springboard attack. She's got it. Got ah! Down. She fights her shoulder up before one. 
No, my kendo stick. Eats a punch to the face. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh! Oh! Shotzi, can you please fuck off and don't not, not, not do that? I'm asking you nicely. Don't do that. Stop that. Right now. I don't know how to get at this kendo stick now. Do I have to like? Outside. What does she got in mind? She's into the ring again. There we go. Just tormenting her. Get in here. Damn! Oh! Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Ah! Selena Del Sol. Shotzi ascends to the top. Oh! Oh! Sorry. I haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. Yeah! Yeah! This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase. Oh! <laughs> Looking to capitalize. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, Ava, we can be friends. You had my back. All right. We'll take it. Unexpected. You defending me in the ring? Certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you. You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? It certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. I'm not entitled! <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. 
which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great. We lost it. How did that happen? How do you lose it? Tight new development, Raquel, and I have proud new holders of the tag team Money in the Bank briefcase, as in, we're holding it right now. Taylor Morgan and Ava Marino probably should have kept a better eye on it. That's not yours! What's that thing they say? Possession is nine tenths of the law? I don't. No, I've never heard that. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty Briefcase big. law? I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. What the fuck is that? But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness, but both of you save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. Sure. Have at her. Probably, maybe. Shotzi and I will be beyond pleased to officially take the Money in the Bank briefcase off of you two. The first step in our next tag team championship reign. We're not going to be like you two and just carelessly leave the briefcase out ringside for you to steal back. We're not idiots. The briefcase will be hidden in a safe place until after we win. No, you need to have the briefcase to actually cash it in. No chance of you winning. I won't be holding back. I feel bad for you guys because I actually believe her. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is a tag team match set for one falls. Introducing first from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Taylor Morgan. Few superstars come into WWE with higher expectations than this woman. Nepotism can open the door, but now it's up to her to see what she can do with it. Superstar looks to finish on top in this one. <clears throat> it's the hardest working woman in WWE, Ava Moreno. And her partner from the Bronx, New York. Ava Moreno. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Apparently, in 2K24, the uh, 2K originals will be available for use and play. Big, bad, and ready to Which means we can have the rib. Bye bye. Grand Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think 
about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. The personification of dominance in NXT and WWE since day one. Yeah, and I think we can all agree that Raquel Rodriguez is getting better with every match. Even when she makes short work of her opponent. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting tired of watching the shots the entrance, but I won't skip it because it's, I don't know. It's how a wrestling match goes, and I guess I uh, respect a wrestling program to include the entrance. Except when I'm playing um, by myself alone. Let's do this. Bam! Set the tone by damaging Raquel as either LJ or Ava. Technically in the air because its new owners Shotzi and Raquel have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air. I'm not LJ. Thanks, Saxton. You should. I'm Taylor. She's fighting back. Bring it back with their own counter. Ouch. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Huh? Come on. Front face lock up. What the fuck? Hey, yo. In off the tag. Tag made. She's in. We'll play fresh. We'll play fresh. Well, no, I'm playing as myself, but <laughs> you lucky girl. Ah! That was your chance, Sable. Why? Why? Not sure how smart that is. Come on. Two. Oh, face buster. So she tags in. Come on, Ava. Ava. Holding on for more. I wonder if this is going to fill up when the CPUs play. Why do they remove the uh, the the hyping up taunts? Like 2K, why do we go backwards with this? What can I do as a tag team partner that's legal? I'm just sitting here doing my regular taunts. Holy shit! But now we gotta hype up the chat and go. Go away. 
Uses the edge of the knee. Yeah. Solid punch. Oh, Come on. Get up! Holy shit! You're just jobbing out. I tagged you in because I thought we'd be okay. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. She covers for the pin. No, two count. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Come on. Come on! Come on! Duh! What, do you, what do you think you're doing? Idiot! The computer finally is doing some work on that. Take shots he had on with either a front running grapple as either LJ or Ava. Well, I need I need to get tagged in. Ava's getting fucked up. Yeah! Come on, 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 you got this, yes! Ah! Then they removed the hot tag uh, stuff. 2K19 surely was ahead of his time. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Apparently. As LJ hits Shotzi with a standing strike while in the ring. I, I can do that. For the briefcase, I forgot. Shotzi ducks. Nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen money in the bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original oh! briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. <laughs> Good. I'm glad things played out that way, huh? Time to play the game. <laughs> hmm. well. We done did it. Okay. That was fun. And look how far you've come. Didn't even hesitate to use that briefcase against her. Not like that so-called honorable choice you made when you faced me. Hmm. I will admit, fighting a little dirty is a good time. You may have had a point. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You wanna face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots? I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. Well, I've already faced Shotzi enough, so I'll take Raquel. 
I love it. I'll face Raquel. Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner. Hmm. Nice. And since I'm, my posture sucks right now, I'm going to do that. This loading screen ends up muted in the future and you're watching that. You still can't hear me? <sighs> okay. You wouldn't get it. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Social media is buzzing. A big fight feel in a main event level match. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. I wish we could just import custom superstars from game to game. Like, uploading them to community creations allows them to be imported to the next game or something like that. Because, um, remaking Eric Ventura and Taylor Morgan for next year is going to be annoying. Especially with the movesets. Hence why I gave them a similar moveset. And then... This year, I'm going to just take screenshots of all my moves and then hopefully make the process faster. Mainly taunt-wise, because there's so many taunts, but you just... They aren't very descriptive of anything, so... You have to go through all of them to find the one that you're looking for. Now it's the custom superstars, right? It sucks when the game comes out and all the... Beat the clock. Three minutes and 40 some seconds. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing? It feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat the clock challenge. And Ava set a tough time ah. to beat at three minutes and 47 seconds. I don't think I'm going to beat it. She said back in under the ropes. I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to beat it. Oh, and she got out of there. I'm actually losing. I got caught. Into the corner. This can't be good. Shoulder blocks repeatedly. Smizzy. In the corner. Complete. And she goes for the pin. You gotta make. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Smizzy says you gotta finish the story in 2K24. I have to finish. The story. I'm getting that booty cheeks clapped. Can I get the momentum boost? No, I'm gonna interrupt it. Oh no! <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna get stuck. I've lost. There's no way I can beat Raquel in two minutes. Fucking hell! And I don't want to use any of my special stuff because then I can maybe use my signature and turn it around. I don't know. For the love of God. For the love of God. This ain't gonna work.
Holy shit! None, nothing is reversible! Dude! Raquel didn't get the memo that this is a beat the clock challenge match and decided to work to send the crowd home happy, brother. <laughs> Alright, that's something. All right, we got something cooking. Come on. Come on. Maybe I can make this work. Uh, I, I don't think I got this, but come on. Shit! All right. Maybe I can get some momentum fast enough. There might still be a chance. Twenty seconds on the clock. Come on! 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 Oh! Yes! He got ribbed. <laughs> well, that's what you call a match. I fucking love my emotes. They're great. <laughs> ah. Why do you think Taylor and Ava are wasting their time with the beat the clock challenge? I thought they'd be cashing in on us. They are scared. I would be too. Ah, you see what I just did? <laughs> a deal's a deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the tag team championships, let me know. The decision is yours. Wow. And I'll use it wisely. 